Here's a quick video on why the Impala shakes at 55, 65, 70 miles an hour. Uh, piece of shit audio didn't work on my phone because it was connected to my stupid Bluetooth. But uh, I'm redoing the video. And for those that are driving and you're driving, you know, 30 miles, it works great, 40 miles, 50, and then you start hitting 55 and up, uh, you might want to, there's a few things to check, right? But ultimately, what it comes down to most likely is going to be your driveline, the carrier bearing that uh, comes with, you know, because it's a two-piece driveline, right? Uh, but uh, here's a few things before you can get to the driveline is obviously balance your tires. It's one of the first few things you can do. Or you switch your front tires to the back, you're back to the front. And if you drive it and you're doing 55, 60, 65, no shaking, no nothing, then it's your tires, right? So that's one. Uh, the next one is your rate, your, um, your, your hubs and where your, uh, your drums, right? If your drums aren't, uh, your inner and outer race racings are already worn out, put some new ones in. They're cheap. They're like $7 each or something for each the in and out and you can repack it, put it back on and grease it really generously, right? On both sides. That's the next one that I've done to this car to figure out why it's shaking at 55 and 65 miles an hour. So I did that. The whole front alignment's been done. Uh, everything's right in the front. Nothing's loose. Uh, ball joints are great. Everything's aligned just right. And then I took out the, uh, the uh, two-piece driveline. And maybe you might be able to see in here. Uh, no, it's not. So I threw it away already. But nonetheless, the carrier bearing, it had broke off. And the bearing at because I'm going to use it for something else. This is what came loose from the carrier bearing. This is the part where the drive shaft goes in. So I would check that. Highly, highly check that. So keep in mind, uh, rotating the tires from front to back, it's a lot of work, a lot of time. Taking out the drive line, real quick and easy. You can check and see if it if it's uh, worn out, uh, so I would I would maybe start there, but it's up to you where you want to start. But those are things that I have found out while working on my Impala, and I've had this for a long time now. And it, 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 as you know, right, you've had your vehicle for a long time. You know the little things here and there. Another thing I wanted to touch on is there's a click, click. You hear a click, click, click. It's not necessarily that the battery uh, is dead or you have a bad starter your starter isn't aligned with your flywheel. So keep that in mind, just a tidbit. If you're running into where you feel like it's the battery and the battery's holding the charge, you're checking the, the voltage and it's 1250 something, right? And you, you j get a jump and, you know, it, and you're trying, but just know that a trick that I learned is just turn your ignition, tr keep turning it a couple times, click, 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 and it'll it'll go into gear uh it'll you know obviously the uh the bandix will come out and get onto the flywheel but other than that that is a, something to to know if you're out there trying to figure that out think it's your battery think it's a uh a uh, uh electrical parasite or something right so just know that you might want to check out your 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 uh starter and I figured that out on this car, so I have to order a new starter because the one that I have, the Bandix, is going out on it. All right, man. Take care, people.